Hi, I'm Steve Cooter with United Static Control Products. Today we're going to talk to you about ESD smocks and what they're used for. I have a standard material, which is a, actually a t-shirt, that's placed on top of a device called a Monroe Charge Plate Analyzer. This device has got the t-shirt cranked up to about 1,762 volts. All right, and on my hand here, I have a wrist strap. All right, now let's see what happens when we touch this. We're going to hit this, set the device to decay. Okay, and we're going to touch this shirt. Now you see how the charge is just sitting there, really. It's, it's coming down a little bit, but very, very slow. Now I'm going to touch the shirt with my hand, which is attached to the wrist strap, and let's see what happens. Why, by golly, nothing happens. And that's exactly what happens when you have a standard fabric. Now let's go ahead and let's try. I'm going to discharge the device here. Take that down. We're going to put our ESD smock material on top of it. This is one of our Electrowear smocks. And we have these in coats and we have them in jacket styles. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to charge it up. All right. Let's take that up to about 1700 volts where it was. All right. Now the Electrowear smocks are triple stitch for durability. They're easy to keep clean and they do a great job of getting rid of that charge. You can see we're at 1760 volts again. Now we're going to hit that decay button and we're going to touch the smock with our hand. Let's see how fast it goes to ground. Let's look at that. It's 2.4 seconds. So that's what happens. An ESD smock shields the charge and takes that charge to ground so that your clothing doesn't, uh, doesn't have a static charge on it. You get it close to a component and you pop that component. The, the rule of thumb is to keep the charge down below 100 volts when you get close to any kind of ESD sensitive component and the electric wear smocks do that. Thank you very much for watching United SCP and wishing you the best.